So we look at a problem like this. We have 2m plus 12 equals 3m minus 31. So when doing a problem like this, ladies and gentlemen, the first thing we notice is we have more than one variable for the first time, right? Now we have two variables. And what's even more confusing is now we have two variables on opposite sides of the equal sign. So, so far the problems that we worked on, we only had one variable, and all we had to do was just isolate that one variable. Well, now, ladies and gentlemen, what we have is we have two variables. So the first thing we need to do is get the variables to the same side. So what I like to do is we need to get rid of one of the variables. And I like to get rid of the variable that has the smallest coefficient. So I have 3m and 2m. Since 2m is smaller than 3m, I'm going to eliminate that. So how do you eliminate 2m? Well, if I have positive 2m, I can, Minus. I can subtract 2m. But I need to make sure whatever I subtract on the left side, I subtract on the right side. So I'll subtract on both sides. 2m minus 2m, this is going to be 0m. 0 0m 0 plus 12 is just going to be 12. Equals m minus 31. Now, by putting my variables on the same side, now I have a two-step equation. And we just did two-step equations, right? So you guys should understand, oh, two-step equations, I undo everything that's happening to my variable. Well, actually, this is only a one-step equation because the only thing that's happening to my variable is it's being subtracted by 31. So I just need to add 31. So all I'm really doing, ladies and gentlemen, is just adding an extra step. Now what you're going to have to do is just, um, uh, when doing these problems, make sure you get the variable on the first, on, on, oh, I'm sorry, make sure you simplify first, then put the variable on the same side, and then you can solve. Okay? All right. So that's all I want to do for right now.